guys for you guys today. We are um, continuing our winter series about building your winter medicine chest. And the surprise has something to do with what we made last week. So I wonder if you guys can guess what it is before I get there in this video. I wanna update you guys, septic tank. So the day of the party, the septic went ballistic. The toilet wouldn't flush. It was backing up into the bathtub. The next day, the septic was completely and totally fine. And it's been fine since then. The other thing people have showed great concern over is when I talked about dumpster diving in my gleaning video. So I just wanna clarify for all you who are concerned, we are not impoverished. We never dumpster dived because we were impoverished. We would dumpster dive for fun and entertainment and because we didn't want all the good food to go to waste. We just have this great belief that there's too much waste in the world and as much as we have the time and the ability, we don't want to be a part of being so wasteful. And now, obviously, like I mentioned in the gleaning video, I'm really thankful to have learned about gleaning. That's a more legal way to accomplish the same task. What you got there? Uh, my new bike. Let me see. <sighs> Whoa. Do you like it? Mm -hmm. Have you learned to ride it yet? Uh -huh. Cool, you wanna go put it in the car? Okay. I'm gonna ride it around real quick. Do you know where your shoes are? Mm -mm. You're gonna have to have shoes to go okay, ride bikes. What you got? That's very pretty leaf. It's a maple leaf. Where are you gonna go? I know you love the barn. We're gonna get in the car. I know you don't like the car. We're getting in the car. Okay, come on. <laughs> come on, you cutie. Let's go get in the car. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Oh. Looks like we're gonna have to do something else first. Let's go change your diaper. channel are gonna work together today to make you guys some elderberry gummies we're gonna take all that good elderberry syrup that we made the other day we're gonna put it in little gummy form so that if your kid maybe is adverse to taking it they'll take a gummy who doesn't like a gummy me <laughs> I want a gummy okay do you want to know where you were born uh -huh. you were born in that house right there oh justice was born right there and that log cabin it's fun to come here because this was one of the happiest times of my life is when I lived in that house it was it just it was incredibly Hi. fun yeah, having neighbors yeah, so yeah, close yeah, to play yeah. with and to hang out with and to encourage one another and of course justice was born there so it just has such special meaning to me anytime we come out here hello how are you can we borrow your babysitter while we do this? Yes. That's awesome. Yes, she's she's ready. Yeah, that's okay. Okay, well, that's awesome. Okay. You excited yeah. about us coming over? Are you just what are the things you're the most excited about? Flying. You want to go fishing? We have um we have bikes. We water. Water. Woo! You're really getting it. Are you going to put some shoes on? Rebecca is going to teach us today how to make gummies. I'm really excited because even if you don't make elderberry gummies, think about like you can make juice gummies for your kids and have like homemade fruit snacks. That's pretty exciting to me. I totally cannot wait to try this recipe on my own. There's a lot of recipes that you can do to like not just fruit gummies, but also like there's one that's like a calming gummy for kids, Ooh. like for sleepy time. We were just talking about the gelatin and we thought you guys would like to know this. And 
basically just how nourishing gelatin is for you. It's kind of like instant bone broth. Yeah, so it's basically like the good stuff that's in your bone broth and why you would want to drink bone broth is this just powdered. And so like we're giving that nourishment to our children via the gummies, not only with the elderberry syrup, but also with this gelatin, which is so healing for your gut. It's good for your hair and your skin. So like, why would you not want to incorporate this into your diet? Look yeah. at these cool molds. This is just B-roll, so. How fun. All right, and I think that's it. Your pretty little hot face. Do you want to go cool off? Yeah. Okay. She's like, no, I'm good. No, I'm good. I'm gonna help. So of course she's helping because that's how we roll. Wow, good job. I like me. That's okay. <laughs> Don't worry. Like, why we, like... we can fix it. Let me show you how. Just squeeze all of it out in there. Easy. Squeeze it all out. Now put it right there. Now squeeze it up. See? You fixed it. All the kids have come in, they're all helping. Are you gonna get our dinner for us? I've got two eggs in my skirt. Where'd you get them? Um, in Jack's house. You white? Yeah, you see. You want white. Are we having this for supper with them, Mama? Yes, we are. Not only did you make me dinner, but you drew me dinner. That's right. Everything is from the farm. The That's chicken, right. the sweet potatoes, the kale. Oh, man. Okay. Well, thank you. And for dessert, we're having elderberry gummies. We're going to let everyone... Woo! Check it out. Look at this. How we're out of them. Amazing. So here we go. I had the baby. Not really. Look at that Lego guy. Oh my God. Oh my God. They're popping out like bears. really nice too. Mm. What do you think? Mm. You were my elderberry syrup taster. Do you like him? Apparently. How many have you had? Two. Tell the truth. Three. Thank you for telling the truth. Don't you remember as a kid just playing until dark in your neighborhood where you grew up? I love that sometimes when we hang out with friends, it's like being a kid again. They just play nonstop and it's got that cool, crisp fall air feeling and the smell of the last mowing of the season and then the kids just, <laughs> just going crazy in the background playing as hard as they can.